Welcome back, everyone. My name is Dorothea Howard. I'm the host of Let's Talk Sarcoidosis. And today's guest, oh my gosh, we're going to talk nutrition today. I have Dana McGee, who is a nutritionist and a registered dietitian. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm looking for, so forward to talking with you today. And Absolutely. Continuing to learn about sarcoidosis and how nutrition can play a huge part in that. So how can I tell if my foods that mm -hmm. I'm eating are causing me inflammation? Sure, sure. So the anti-inflammatory diet is a lot of omega-3, mm -hmm. heart-healthy fats, um, which also include, let me grab you a picture to mm -hmm. show you, some of these other heart-healthy fats here from avocado, mm -hmm. from nuts, from olive oil. Mm -hmm. um, so these will also help with that inflammation. Um, and the spices are great as well. But there is um, some food sensitivities that mm -hmm. I do like to mention because maybe this anti-inflammatory diet isn't perfect for someone who may have right. sensitivities to these anti-inflammatory foods. Mm -hmm. um, so we do testing also in our office for food sensitivities. So it can test 150 foods and food chemicals um, and from there we really see what you're most reactive to, what's causing inflammation in your body. Um, and what's important is that food sensitivities can be delayed response mm -hmm. and it can also be dose dependent which makes it really hard to tell what foods are causing you that imagine. inflammation without having some type of test to kind of guide us. Okay. Um, so we like to use that just to you know get started and really mm -hmm. get our patients feeling healthy and happy. Mm -hmm. um, really helps with pain, joint pain, that oh, inflammation. Goodness. That's a big one too. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. mood and depression and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, even people with fibromyalgia, IBS, maybe wow. some co-occurring factors that they might be having right. depending on their symptoms it might be important for us to rule that out and check on that wow so we really eat to live yeah I mean basically because mm -hmm. I mean food is just so important to us regardless if you have health issues or not sure. I mean it's it's the way of life you exactly. have to make uh, good choices we want to thank uh, Dana McGee for coming on the show today and giving us this fabulous information and life-saving information as well um, make sure you check out the credits to find out how you can contact her and her uh, staff and everyone that can help us with eating the right things. And for all my fellow Sarcodonians out there, I always say we all have sarcoidosis, but sarcoidosis doesn't have us. Be well, live your life, stay positive, and until next time, we'll see you again, and thanks for watching. Thank you very much and for having me. And thanks for coming. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.